Hello, welcome back. Today we will be seeing the structure of the neural network. Okay. A neural network is composed by three main parts. The input layer, where we input the, the value, and such an image or whatever you like. The next thing we have is the hidden layers. In this image we have only one hidden layer but you can have dozens or maybe hundreds of different hidden layers. This is why it is called deep neural networks because it, it may have a lot of the different hidden layers. And the last layer is called the output layer. Uh, here we will have the thing that we want to predict. A neural network is behaves like a function. We have an, an input, x, and we want to predict. We input the x into a function that is like the neural network behaves as a function and we want to obtain an uh, an output so this is the the main fun the main purpose of of the neural network is to feed a uh, a function to uh, to uh, to different behavior so now we have seen the structure of the neural network we can start setting up the different folders and parts of the deep neural network project so the thing the first thing we're going to do is start the deep neural network okay in the previous video we made a uh, we create an empty file with only a few things so this project will have a lot of files so the, f the first thing we have to do is create different folders the first thing we're do going to create is the layer folder okay. There we will save the different kind of layers that I will explain in the next video. We also need the output and the output because we ha uh, we will treat the output of the neural network in different ways. As as we have seen in the first video, we will we need a structure, layers, feed forward, activation. We need the activation folder too. So we rename it and call activation. You you don't need to do that, but I recommend, I strongly recommend to to save the things in different folders so so you don't get confused the optimizer okay now we also need the uh, we need I'm also going to create a folder a folder that it's going to be called utils where we will save functions to save the file to create a new file to load a, a data set because if we want to train a neural network we need a data set so here we will we will put this kind of files I think that's all yes for, uh, for now we we finish so now I'm going to to create a filters for for that the layer as we've done before Activ 
gonna eat soon. We now create another filter, the output filter, the utils, the optimizer. Um, I think that's all. Yes, for now we've we've finished. So now we are going to create a new a new item. Uh, in this file, we will include the rest of the Nira Network classes. So this is going to be the most important file in this program. Uh, I'm going to call DNN that stands for Deep Neural Network. You can call it as you want. We will include here uh, everything. So, for example, the first thing we, we need is Eigen. Eigen core. This is the first step. Okay. Now we can also create a new class a new item that neural net the neural network class ok uh, we have uh, uh, a problem we need to move that into the header files uh, that was my my fault sorry for that and let's create another file called the layer. We've seen uh, in this video that, uh, what is a layer and what kind of layers we, we can find. We we don't need to to put these these files into into these blocks. Uh, I, I will explain in later videos why. We need also to create the optimizer. You won't understand it now, but this this is a very important part of the neural network. The output and new item. the training no that no I won't do that the co the configuration of the pro of our neural network new item and a class that I want I will use it as a random gener generator of numbers we will have a seed where we will um, create the uh, random numbers in order to have the same results uh, for you and for me so I think that's all for now so I think that this is the the correct extractor of a uh, of our neural network project you you ha you clearly see the different parts of the neural network and we will uh, start modifying the these files in in the next videos so i think that's all, all for now so see you in the next video and bye